Hi, it's Kate from Isalicious Designs. So we've made our little head for our Hello Kitty doll. We now have to do her body. And so I have um, stuffed the head and, and that's fine. If you've done that, that's wonderful. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. You can do that after as well. But um, because I was doing the video on how to do the head, as a standalone thing, I had actually stuffed it. But as you can see, I have backtracked so that um, I am able to do my stitches for the neck of the dress. So what I'm going to start with is make another arm and another leg first so that they are available for us. I'll start with the arm. We're still going to need white bands. And we're going to do a little magic ring with five stitches through it so take your loom have it facing away from you I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see what on earth I'm doing we'll take our first band and wrap it around that peg once and twice as I said we're going to do five bands pop your hook through drag and one goes over the other and budge around Keeping your loop on your hook. Do the same again. Budge around. And I'm not going to go slow on this because we've already done this a couple of times now. Come back down for the fifth one. And I'm going to take that off my loom. I'm going to just budge these around so that they are spaced evenly around. And I'm going to put my hook through the first stitch. Now, we're going to do five rounds, okay? All of single crochet only. No increases, just single crochet. So take your first band and put it through like that and do your first single crochet and this is where I'm going to put my stitch marker sorry I sound a bit rough we've all sort of come down with a cold in the last 24 hours which is lovely so that was my first single crochet in that first stitch next I'm going to the second stitch and I'll do a single crochet the third stitch and a single crochet the fourth stitch. Now normally we would do an increase but because I'm just doing a little arm I don't want it increased. I'm back to the beginning here so I'm going to go through that stitch here and do a single crochet and move my stitch marker. So I'm now on round two, which will be single crochets in each stitch. One, two, three, Four. And our last one here will be five. Move your stitch marker. We're on round three. Again, single crochets. Flick your rubber bands everywhere. One. Two, three, four, and our last one here will be five. We're now on round four. Move your stitch marker. If you need to just spread these out a little bit, that's fine, just so that you can view where your stitches are. This is round four, one, two, three, four, 
tree. Four. And our last one here is five. Move your stitch marker after you've done this one. Oh, let's get the stitch marker out of the way. We have one more round to do. Again, I'm just going to gently splay the top open so that I can see my stitches. So I've done this one here. I start in here. One. Two. Three. Four. And this is my last stitch here, number five. Like that. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I'm just going to spread this out a bit. I'm going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, I'm going to go in here, grab a band, go through the loop and through the next, and tie off. And then what I'm going to do, if you can have a look here, you can see I've, I've collected here and here as well to put through. So I have a total of three anchor bands. So let's just spread out. Sometimes poking the end of your hook in can just sort of uh, spread it out a bit. I'm not going to be stuffing the arms. I think they're too small. So I'm going to find the two stitches either side. Let's have a look and see. One here and here. And I'll do a slip knot like that. And then I'm going to find the next stitch, which will be here. I want to try and make sure that I'm just going through the stitches and do my third little anchor band here. Don't tie those off too tightly because uh, we need to work with them. So there's two arms. Let's make another leg, which as you can see is bigger. Grab your loom, single band, loom is facing away from you. Wrap once and twice. Now this time we're actually going to do ten stitches in our leg. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more is ten. Pop your hook through. And we are just going to do ten little slip knots. Keep pushing around so that you can fit them all in. And the last one. And we can put our loom away. So we have 10 little stitches around here. Again, what we're going to do is go through the first one and do a single crochet. And put our stitch marker in. Now I would say I have easily gone through a whole bag of white bands now. I probably had about half a bag already in my container and I'm ploughing my way through that at the minute as well. We're going to do a single crochet 
in each of these stitches, just one, no increase, and we're going to do six rows. So that's my first one. And if you want, a, a really easy way of doing it is to put six little bands out. And as you do a row, you, you take the starting band from your little, from your little uh, area here. So I'm on row six, round six. So I now know I have five rounds left to do. Just saves having to get pencil and paper out if you don't have those handy. single crochet and back to the beginning and we will do another single crochet and move our stitch marker to this next band. Now we're going to go round again just single crochets Back to the beginning and do our single crochet. Move your stitch marker and around we go again, single crochets. Back to the beginning again, go through, go to the next band, single crochet, and move your stitch marker. And around, and around, and around. <laughs> Back to the beginning, grab your stitch, your band I mean, and we move our stitch marker. Around we go again.
move your stitch marker and around we go one more time Back to the beginning and we will do a last single crochet, take your stitch marker out and I'm going to do a slip stitch, okay, just here to join that together like that. Now that's going to be my first little anchor. I'm going to go around, as you can see what I've done with this one here, I've put little anchors all the way around here and this is to help us attach our legs. Do them tight enough that they won't come undone but not so tight that you uh, need the jaws of life to get them undone. So now we have our arms and our legs ready, we need to work on her little dress. So there we go, I've got all the little I'm, I call them anchor bands, but my little slip knot bands there. So I'm going to pop this over out of the way, and now we will work on her dress. Okay, so to start off with her dress, we're going to obviously put our hook back through, leave your stitch marker on, and in each of these little stitches, we're going to do an increase, which is two stitches, two single crochets in each of these stitches. So we're going to go through this first one and we will now let me just check first of all let's do to start with so that it actually looks nice I can see that we've ended on a single crochet okay what we might like to do through this next stitch in here is a slip stitch. So we'll take a pink band and go through like that and we'll do a slip stitch and we'll make this our beginning put our stitch marker there and that will mean that the colours will blend in a little nicer. So we'll start, we've got our slip stitch here go through that same one that you just did a slip stitch in and we'll do a single crochet like that so that's two stitches in the one. We'll go to the next stitch and we'll do two single crochets in the same stitch. That was number one. Let's do another. And I'm using my pink, obviously not, uh, not white. Now let's move to the next. The first single crochet then our second the first one and the second the first 
first one. Second. First one. Let's see. Second. First one. And second. First one. And second. First one. And second. This is our last stitch here. First. And go back one more time for our second. Now, find. You can spread this out a little bit if you need to, just to sort of see where your stitches are. Just give it a bit of a stretch. Find where your first stitch is, which is here. You're going to push your hook through. And we're going to do two rows of single crochet. So we'll do our first row. Let's take our first band and do a single crochet. And we'll move our stitch marker to that. Okay. Now we're going to do our first row of single crochet. Two. Sorry, I'm being a little quieter. My little one's just gone down to, to bed and uh, trying to make sure she's okay and settled. We've been having nightmares lately. Oh, the fun. Oops. Back to the beginning, push your hook through, do a single crochet and move your stitch marker. Okay, so let's just stretch this out just a little bit okay so this is how it's looking at the minute now with the arms what I did for the arms you're actually going to push them through here so in the spots and you, you want the sort of middle one to be in line with her ear here okay so you're gonna pick a spot I'm gonna grab here whoops here okay and I'm gonna take that middle band and pull it through Okay, and then I'm going to go either side of the other one, one there, 
and I've still got this on the hook and one there so the arm is sort of going to go like that so the thing is how are we going to link these in well what I did was um, as I did my next round I added them <laughs> to the stitch, to the round, just to, to lock it in. I just felt that that was quite an easy way of doing it. Um, it just, it seemed to work quite well to do that. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And then on the other side, you want to be able to do the same thing. Well, we're working at this stage on this side. So what I'll do, I'm going to just let this go, they're not really going to go anywhere, and we'll do the others as we get around, but let's keep going with our second round of single crochet, and as we get to the arms, we're going to loop them in, and I'll show you how to do that. Single crocheting, Probably a very cheating way of doing it, but never mind it. It seemed to work. The uh, the things we can do with rubber bands that you probably couldn't do with yarn. So let's make sure we don't lose that little band. I'm going to do it in this next stitch here, the first one. So I've done this one here. So for this next stitch, I'm going to grab that first band, okay, and as I, if you can have a look, let me see if I can show you, this is where I want to go through here, let me zoom in, alright, so this is my next stitch, so what I'm going to do is put that band on my hook first, go through the next stitch, get rid of the fluff, take my pink band that I'm going to be doing, and go through just, just like normal, Okay, grab the next white band, put it on my hook, go through the next stitch, and do my single crochet just like normal. And the third one, put it on my hook, go through my stitch, and do my single crochet as normal. So that's kind of locked in. You haven't had to stitch it in or really do anything. It's it's just, it's there. And uh, I don't think that looks too bad. I'm going to zoom back out a bit. I always go the wrong way, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Let's continue round until we get to the spot where we're going to do the other arm. So, one... Two, three, four, five. I have to say I like things to be nice and easy. So, to do my other arm, let's just have a look here. I'm keeping this where I'm at on my hook. Okay, I'm going to go in line with the ear and put the middle anchor in there and the next one beside it and the next one the other side. So draw those all through so I know where I need to be. Now this first one could go this side or it could go here. I think I'm going to put it on this one here. And then the second one on my hook, find my stitch, go through, grab the third one, is it trying to hide? Yes, it is. Let's grab it back. Sure, not going anywhere. Okay, and then we're back at our beginning. 
and we do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. So I know a lot of you get a bit intimidated by the whole adding the arms and whatnot on and I just felt that was a really nice and easy way to do it without too much stress. If you need it, I mean I can see that it's probably a little bit, one arm is a little bit closer than the other but I don't think that really matters. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, so next, our next round, let's see what we need to do. Two single crochet followed by an increase. So that was our first single crochet. Second, and we'll do an increase. If you remember, that's two single crochets in the same stitch. And this is to start the flare of her little dress. We just keep that pattern going. So single crochet, Oops. <laughs> slip it all off your hook, <laughs> single crochet and an increase. single crochet and an increase single crochet single crochet and an increase and you'll see that this is just uh, it especially well once we uh, once we have stuffing in it single crochet single crochet and an increase Then we're back to the beginning and do a single crochet and move your stitch marker. So you can see it's starting to just flare out a little bit. Now what we're going to do, so we've done a couple there now. We need to do a single crochet, a single crochet and an increase again. So that's our first single crochet. Single crochet and an increase. Oops. One and two. Single crochet. Single crochet. And we'll do an increase. Single 
crochet. Oops, let's make sure we're going through the right the right loops. Single crochet and an increase. Now I have to say I think working with bands rather than working with crochet gives us a bit of a fudge factor so that if if things if you have an extra stitch here or there I don't think it really makes a huge difference I think we can get away with it um, I mean if you if you end up looking at it and it looks absolutely horrendous then okay so maybe not um, but for the most part doing an extra stitch making it flare a little more is not going to be a problem at all for something like this so I've got a so increase, single crochet, single crochet, we're at an increase and what I'm sure all the crochet people and knitters would uh, kill me for saying that but uh, And then increase. Single. Single. And an increase. single single and an increase single and I'm going to finish on a single, it's single, single, and then we're back at the beginning. So I'm just going to do a single crochet here and change my stitch marker like so. Spread the little dress out. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to do the little sort of frilly ruffles around the edge of her skirt and to do that get your stitch marker behind your hook you're all, you have one loop on your hook you're going to start by pushing your hook through the next stitch a single band and you're going to pull it through now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit because this can be a little bit tricky so you have your single band through your next stitch take another single band and you're going to pull it through and through that loop reclaim and do your single crochet now this is where we had that chain do you see it's here okay you're going to push your hook through that chain here and we're going to do two single crochets in this loop so here's our first one one and then go back through that little chain again and do your second you're then if you see here right here is where we started we're going to, or finished I should say this is where we started this is where our, the other end of our band went through go through there and we'll do a slip stitch which means you pull it through you're then going to move the stitch that is on your hook this one here onto it like that and reclaim and one over the other so that's a slip stitch you're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch
and another single crochet in the next stitch and then we do that all over again oops let's do the second single crochet so there's a single crochet single crochet and here is our little and you can spread it out so that it uh, the stitches are even evenly spaced let's do our second one so you go through your next stitch which is here single band grab another band on top of that first one like that do your single crochet including that loop go through the first chain you're doing two single crochets one two back through slip stitch one over the other and two single crochets here's the first stitch here's the second oops runaway band So there's our second little frill. All right, let's do our third into the next stitch. First band, second band, go through all of those loops, back into that first chain. first single crochet second single crochet back through right down there do a slip stitch so pull it through add your loop on reclaim one over the other single crochet and single crochet we're going to do this all the way around. I'm going to zoom my camera back out a bit so that I don't go out of your view. You see how it's making these little sort of frilly edges?
Oh, halfway there. Oops, supposed to do a slip stitch there to pull pull my band through entirely and then pop this loop on reclaim and there we go that's better gosh got a bit excited with my getting near the end here <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I think this will be our last one. And single crochet and single crochet. Now, as you can see, this is where we started. So we're at the end of our dress. We need to just tie it off and I'm just going to pop my hook through here and I'm going to do a slip stitch. So I've gone through all of them and tie in a knot. I'm going to even these out
and I'm not worried that it's sort of like this because it's a dress it doesn't really matter the tie off band I'm just gently going to go through some of these loops on the inside like this grab that little band and pull it through and hide it on the underside of the dress so that it's not terribly noticeable like that okay now as you can see on this one we need to now go through part here so where we have attached the white bands for the arms this is where we're going to be going to basically make uh, her, her underside and to um, then attach her legs on it you're going to pick a spot you can pick wherever you want to to start really because at the end of the day um, it's you know a new a new spot to start at I'm going to start at the back here just because it seems like a good place to start I'm going to push my hook through now what we need to do if you have a look here is do little single crochet all the way around to build up sort of like a little ledge that we will work from I'm going to put my stitch marker there so I'm going through just these two little loops if you can see there's two little loops and I'm just doing a single crochet through them there's my next two little loops on the back side of the dress or the inside of the dress here's the next two you can see that the white band that we connected the arm is on that as well all the way around till we get back to the beginning it's hard to press down if there's nothing behind it And you're not you're not going to notice this from the front see you can't see anything from the front I had hoped to have this finished yesterday but we ended up spending the day at a car dealership sorting out issues with our car so that was a bit of a pain and then it was time to pick the little one up from school and then all bets are off <laughs> Carefully does it.
So I'm all the way around, go through here. What I'm going to do, as you can see, each band has the two loops. Each stitch has the two loops. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the front loop only, okay, and do a single crochet. The next one I'm going to go through the front first front loop and then another front loop. So I'm doing a decrease, but just in the front loops, like that, and then front loop. Single crochet and then a decrease the first one and the second. Okay, here's the front loop for a single crochet and then this one is one and two. This one is one. This one is one and two. Join them together. One. Oops. Let's catch that before more unravels. And then a decrease. A single. And, oops, I just want to go through that front loop, the decrease. See how this is closing in? Single, and making sure I get just the front loops. A decrease, a single. Now you're going to do this until you feel that it's time to stuff. So I am going to, oops. my single crochet here. I'm going to put my stitch marker on. Now as far as stuffing, I'm going to take this and I'm going to hook it out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way of my stuffing. Here we go. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So this, as you can see, is coming across flat instead of up and that's exactly how I want it because her little legs are going to be popped on there okay just like that what we need to do is stuff the remainder of this and stuff her little legs so let's do that again a little bit at a time you don't want it to be too much because if you overstuff it will look horrid So just a little bit of stuffing just to give her body a bit of shape and she's only got an incy wincy little body so you don't have to do too much at all she's mainly all head okay so for me I think that is going to be just fine 
I'm going to put a tiny little bit of stuffing in each of these legs just so that they don't sort of fall implode, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Again, don't do too much. Always easier to put a little bit more in than it is to take it out after the fact. I don't know about you, but I hate this stuffing stuff. It gets all over the place. <laughs> okay, so I think that one's quite good. Let's find the other one. sure my little anchors are accessible. So that's all I'm going to stuff for these two. So whoop. let's continue closing this off completely. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm still just going to be in the inside loop, but I'm going to do decreases. Instead of a single and a decrease, I'm just going to do decreases, but I'm just in the front loop. So that's one, and I'm going to take the stitch marker out. And then here's my next one. There's my first loop. There's my second. My first loop. <laughs> Get me a tricky. There's my second. First loop, and second, first loop, and second, and I'm actually just going to do a slip knot here, like that, and what I'm going to do is put my hook through her head, up through the center here, grab that tie off band and pull it back with me so that it's inside her body okay like that so she has this little flat bottom now the way we want to do the legs we have to sort of position them one either side of the center and also you want to make sure that they are centered as far as where you want them on her body. You sort of want it this side of the center here, but also in the center here, okay? So we have our anchor, little anchor bands. I'm going to take one and I'm going to place that exactly where I want her to be. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through a band like that. And then let's find Another spot here, here, and here. Make sure the anchor bands are out. <laughs> so I want it about halfway. You 
and just place them. That one's supposed to be over there. Get over there. <laughs> okay, I think this one will probably turn out a little better. Okay, so where you want to start, you just loop them in. Now if you feel these loops are too big, just like we did with the, um, I'm trying to remember which one we did it with, where we open them up. Opened our anchor bands up. Okay, so there we have her little leg. You're going to go through one more pink band, drag it through, grab one of the whites, get a tie off band, pull through, and tie off in a slip knot. That's a little better placed, I think. And you're just going to pull that tie off band back through into her body like so all right let's do the same for the other one it's going to go at approximately the same spot but on the other side so grab your anchor bands sort of spread them out so that you know what you're dealing with Grab the first pink band to slip the white through. The second, third, fourth. Fifth, six, just only getting one anchor band, seven, eight. Nine, grab hold of that little band, that's the last one, find a pink, go through it, and the next white to it, tie off in a slip knot, and that gets pulled through again, stuffing your hook up. Grab the tie off band and pull back down inside the body of Hello Kitty. If you want your anchor bands to be pink, that's completely up to you. 
I sort of like them white. I think that's that's fine. I hope I'm zoomed out. As, oh, there we go. Wow, had a bit more. But effectively, there she is in all her glory. I hope you enjoy making her. I think she's rather cute. Um, let me know. I'd love to see. Please tag me or uh, post your pictures to uh, my Facebook channel. Absolutely would love to see them. Take care. Bye-bye.